You have a bird's eye view from down there on the floor, and I'm not asking you to predict what's coming, but certainly you can feel the vibe. Do you think this volatility is here to stay for a while? What does it feel like? Great to be with you again, Melissa. Yes. Uh, dare I say it was a pretty normal day. Yeah. Volatility came in a little bit today. Industry volumes were more typical than the frenetic trading last week. You know, it was a good day in the market price-wise, but from my perspective, even better just because it felt like a normal day. Yeah, I mean, what have the, the last, you know, almost two weeks been like for you? You know, I, I've, uh, anyone who will ask, I've been saying the same message, which is markets go up, markets go down. That's what they do. Investors should make long-term decisions, not day-by-day -day decisions based on what they're seeing on TV or the particular movements in the stock market for that day. And that panned out last week. If you look and if you held through, yeah. uh, uh, what was it, on Monday, the Dow was 24,300. On Thursday, it was 23,800. And you could have, in a panic, sold everything you had. And now it's, it's right back up above either one of those, those places. So my advice has just been calm down, relax. The underlying economy is good. The stock market has been very good. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's still up 14%, the Dow Jones, since the night of the election. Yeah, there are a lot of people out there blaming electronic trading and quants for amplifying the moves. What do you say to those people? Yeah, it's, it's always good to kind of find somebody that you can, you know, you can poke at and say, oh, geez, this is what, who's responsible for market turbulence. But it, it's, it's just simply you can't do it. It's always a combination of, of humans and human judgment and emotion as well as machines that have been pro programmed to behave in a certain way. But what's happened over the last week, it's normal. Markets go up with low volatility and they come down with high volatility. And we have been nearly two years since we had had a period like this. This is the normal functioning of a market, and yeah. everyone should relax and take a long term perspective. Do you think algorithmic training, it, trading amplifies the moves, or do you think that that's a fallacy? No, I think the move on Monday was something like the hundredth biggest uh, uh, decline in the history of the Dow on a percentage basis. I mean, it was a big move, but it wasn't the end of the world. And so I don't, I don't think uh, uh, today's uh, modern trading is any different than yesterday's or 20 or 50 years ago. You're going to get volatility. It's the way markets work. Yeah. Did you hear any complaints from anyone wanting to know what was going on or wanting to know if, if you know, there were, there were other people stepping ahead of them in their trades? I mean, did you get angry phone calls or, or does everybody understand it's sort of business as usual? Not angry phone calls, just a lot of concern because yeah. when the market's moving around like that, people are worried. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of your viewers are worried about their nest eggs, for example. Mm -hmm. I will tell you on Monday and Thursday, there was a lot of talk about, well, what if the market keeps going down and we trip one of these market-wide circuit breakers? And so that was something we spent a lot of time thinking about. Fortunately, we practiced for that yeah. once a quarter with the entire industry. But that was a, a cause of some focus. But otherwise, no, from the exchange perspective, everything kind of worked as advertised. You guys are there, you're humans, you have it under control, you're out there to tell everyone you don't need to panic, right? We've, we've got this thing, we can see people behind you, it's not just the computers at the helm taking us on a wild ride, right Tom? Yeah, no, it helps and in fact, just a, a, as I was walking over to your studio here, you know, there was a situation where we had a, a stock that had an imbalance on the close and it gave me great comfort to see a number, number of people gathered around the sophisticated machines to apply human judgment and I kept walking to your studio with full confidence it would be worked out appropriately. Okay. Tom Farley, hang on to your hat. I think the volatility is here for a little bit. We appreciate your time. Come back soon. Thanks, Melissa. Appreciate See you soon. it.